What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna hit up a night ride tonight and see what, what it's like on the ZH2. This video is also gonna be a five things that I love about the ZH2. I'm also gonna do a five things I hate about the ZH2. I was gonna do three and then I was like, there's a couple more things, pros and cons I wanna talk about. Kind of some more things I've learned um, with the bike as I've been riding it more, obviously. Also, I have an Insta360 for filming and um, it records the bike sound really well, but I can't talk when I'm riding. So I got a little in-helmet microphone. I wanna show you guys, connects up to the Insta360. It was like 40, 50 bucks, so I'm gonna give it a try. We'll see how the quality is. If it sucks, we'll toss it and we'll try something better, but it's supposed to be pretty good. And just so you guys can see, um, this is a little microphone setup. You pull the cover off the Insta360, put this in your helmet, connect this little doodad up. Can't forget this adapter. I forgot that the first time around, so got that ordered. Gonna throw this in my helmet and let's get riding. Five things I love video about the ZH2. I'm gonna knock this out because um, for whatever reason, my audio, my microphone's picking up a lot of wind noise. Um, so we're gonna put through town here real quick so I can get um, some good audio and then get back to the normal shenanigans. So five things I love. I'm gonna make this quick. First thing, um, ZH2, just the H2, the supercharger in general, the popularity, it's kind of a trendy bike. That was like one of the reasons I purchased the bike for sure when I compared it to 1390 and uh, the Street Fighter. Second thing is going to be the safety and the technology in the bike. So you have cruise control, you have traction control, you have corner traction control, you have Kawasaki this, Kawasaki that. Uh, you can go on their website and look up all the acronyms. There's lots of different um, safety features. And they're awesome. So, um, third biggest thing for me, top five thing I love, uh, three is going to be the sound. So. Uh, I love the sound of the MT-10. This bike, you know, uh, I thought the sound of this sounded better than the KTM Duke. The Ducati sounds really good, yes, but in order to put an exhaust on that, it's like five or six grand for the exhaust that I wanted, so it just wasn't gonna work for me. Um, I went with this. These things sound so good with the supercharger noise, the flutter. Obviously, the, those other two bikes don't have that. And then inline four, this thing screams. Sounds like an F1 car, um, as you've heard from my videos. So number four is going to be the riding position. So when they built the H2, um, obviously they built that trellis frame. They built the bike from the ground up. And uh, they did a really good job of taking that H2 design and kind of making, they have like their super sport design or their road design or whatever. Um, then they have the naked bike. This one, obviously the riding position is awesome. And uh, I can ride my buddy's Beamer right here. And I love that bike. It's so fast, it's amazing. But honestly, like the riding position, you can see his knees. I just can't do that all day on a daily basis. I use this for commuting around actually a lot um, on a day-to-day -day basis, so it's just not practical. <laughs> so um, riding position number four. Number five is going to be, I'm gonna make this a combo. This is gonna be suspension and brakes. The suspension and brakes on this bike are phenomenal. This has the new Brembo Stylemmers, or I'm saying that totally wrong, but Stylemma brakes. They are amazing. The braking power is nuts on the front. Even though, you know, this is 500 pound bike, it's obviously heavier. Um, this thing stops quick. Um, the suspension is also phenomenal with these little bumps I'm hitting. I'm in sport mode and these it takes these really easily. You can change this down into uh, like a comfort mode or normal mode and um, it changes that. So yeah, those are my top five things. I tried recording this once before on the way here, but too much wind noise. I do like 55 and it's just too much wind noise in my helmet. So I'm gonna work on that and get that bit figured out. Yeah, that's it. I'll go over the top five again, just so you guys can remember. Number one is gonna be the H2 Super, the fact that it is supercharged 1000. Number two is going to be the safety features. Number three is going to be the exhaust sound plus the supercharger sound. Number four, riding position, awesome. Number five is going to be the brakes, suspension combination. Those are the five things I love about this bike. Um, 
I guess you could say they're generic, but in my opinion, that's what, you know, those are the, the five that do it for me. So that's where we're at. We're going to get you some more riding actions here. Catch you next time.